We have three measures of central tendency, the mean, the median, and the mode. Now we're going to examine the median. The median is the score at the geographic center of the distribution. It is the score at the 50th percentile. When I was riding my bike one morning, I took a picture of the median of a road. You can see the median as the middle of the road. It divides the road in half. Half of the lanes, half of the traffic is on one side of the median. The other half is on the other side of the median. In the same way, a median within a data set divides the data specifically in half. If the median is 10, we know that half of the scores are at or below 10. The remaining scores are at or above 10. How then do we calculate the median? When I taught you about the mode, I said it was useful to put the scores in ascending order. And that is true when we're working by hand. However, with the median, it is necessity that we put are the scores in ascending order. Let's look at this data set. This data set has an odd number of scores. I've already arranged data set C in ascending order. If the number of scores in your data set is odd, then the median is located at the n plus 1 divided by 2 position. I think that the math actually makes this a little more complicated. It's the middle score. Well, if there's seven scores plus one, that's eight divided by two, that's four. That is the middle score for data set C. In data set D, however, we have an even number of scores. In this case, the median is the average of the two middle numbers. And so we find that median value, it's between 12 and 13. If both of these numbers were 12, we would simply report the median as 12. But because this median is between 12 and 13, we average those two scores. So we would report the median as 12.5. When should I choose the median as a measure of central tendency? The median can only be used with data that are ordinal or scale. So it's an excellent choice with ordinal data because there is an underlying order. You remember that in order to calculate a median, we must put the scores in ascending order. This is why you can't use a median with nominal level data. Remember, nominal level data do not have an underlying order. However, with ordinal data, we can arrange our scores in ascending order and find the middle score. The median also works with highly skewed scale level variables because the median is minimally susceptible to outliers. We haven't talked about skewness yet, but we will. Just know that when there are extreme scores in your data set, let's say we have a similar set of scores and one that is very, very different, the median will only be shifted by one point in the direction of the outlier, meaning that we can still use the median and it will not be affected by those extreme scores. By contrast, we're going to look at the mean and we'll discover that the mean is susceptible to outliers. Another advantage of choosing the median is that you can have only one median in your data set. We can have bimodal distributions or multimodal distributions, but we will only have one median in any distribution. Finally, it is possible that the median will not be one of the actual scores in our data set, as we learned from our data set in which the median was 12.5 even though the number 12.5 did not appear in our data.